Okay. So we're back with another Orange Juice podcast. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, obviously, we're virtual because I was put into um, health and safety protocols after I contracted the Omarion, the Omicronion. <laughs> so, first of all, 25 subscribers. I didn't know what to do. If you want to do something special or something, we have 25 subscribers now, which is one fortieth of the way to being monetized and you know about my money. And we're um, 14 away from becoming the top orange juice podcast in the world. Arjun, you just muted yourself. I'm sorry, uh, my dad just walked in, that's why. Uh, if you Another orange juice pod- uh, podcast? If you wanna repeat what you just said, Dave. Okay, one thing, does your dad know that we do these? No. Okay, my brother, by the way, he just left college. But what's the last thing you heard? Uh, fourteen subscribers or something like that. All right, we're fourteen subscribers away from having this top podcast. Oh, oh, yeah. If you want to yeah. do anything special right now, Arjun for twenty five. Four years. I think I think you getting COVID was a twenty five subscriber special. To be honest, that's actually the most hater thing I've ever heard. Like, uh, imagine like saying it's special that one of your friends got like a death-threatening disease oh my day you're gonna be fine bro omicron is not oh it's very you just, mild you just said you wanted me to die you can't talk about me exactly be fine. what you said in the group chat i know dave okay, no, let's not go over what you specific. said what you one said thing, is very cancelable one thing i'll talk about later but talk you guys could ask me questions right now if you're interested no, Does your no. family have COVID, or is it yeah. just? Well, I already asked that. Like, I don't a good know. Friend would. Okay. <laughs> you also said you're happy I had COVID, but no, um, I did not say that. I literally <laughs> explicitly said I wasn't happy that you got COVID. <laughs> I <laughs> remember you were like, "Oh, this is better for you." I'm like, "Dude, I'm not happy that you have COVID." <laughs> okay, so one thing I'm all bored, but so if you guys can make calls sometimes, it would make me happy. Gotcha. Anybody watching, if you want to call me sometime in this next two week, it'll make me happy because I'm be very bored. I excuse me. I'm them? sorry. I, I already broke your like clean editing streak. All right, we're trying to not do anything that needs to get edited out because Ridwan's gonna be editing this. Yeah, Ridwan, you're so, editing this by Rid- the way, in case you didn't. Yeah, because he's doing the recordings. Ridwan, if I'm not there, is the David for Orange Shoes podcast for the next while. And but also, I want to talk about how. You were living with people we wanted podcasts with for four uh, days. I and wasn't you couldn't on get my a single grind, report. dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's not a grind thing. Like, you couldn't just have a conversation with someone for 20 minutes and record it. Again, he muted himself. Okay, his dad's coming in. No, no, so no. no, no, no. I'm going to start talking. Accidentally, I, I threw my ball onto the keyboard. Whoops. So, I'll just start. This morning, I got my COVID test. I'm at the park playing basketball. I get the email like, you're positive. I'm like, okay. So immediate thought is like, why the hell is this happening to me? I think you guys could attest. I, I'm like sure one of the safest people in the school. Like as far as every basketball game, I'm wearing a mask. Everywhere we go, I'm wearing a mask. I don't interact with too many people. When I'm working out, I wear a mask. Like I'm a safe person. So like the fact that happened to me kind of, pissed me off and more so that I took the week off so I wouldn't go down to that tournament and I chose to be safe and because I chose to be safe I got COVID well because I was negative before the tournament I mean it was like even the safest uh, you just said his COVID. name good job oh, I'm sorry and he's like even no, the you safest people name, are so gonna Rid- get COVID Ridwan has to cut it out alright but- I'm sorry Ridwan cut out name he was like even the safest people are gonna get covid and i'm like well dave's not gonna get covid in my brain and then you know he didn't text me back by the way that's full of my dude he COVID. never responds i was like oh he, i was like oh. he sends me like he sent he sent me like a really nice text remember the same day he was like david yeah. we're gonna miss you he sent me a really nice text that day about the other games i was like oh thanks man that's why i've been saying 
I feel like we've reached some reconciliation. Stop and I've saying had his no name. Problem with him through this. Said, well, okay, replace somebody's name with a W. It's kind of obvious. I mean, <laughs> thanks. But okay. What other name has okay, with? Okay, even then, I'm not saying anything negative. Like we, I, he's been pretty good for the last month, and I've had no problem with him for the past month. And I feel like at this point, if I had a problem with him, that would be bad because we just got to focus on winning games, which I don't know how you lost that one game because I did watch the film. I did not think they were good. I okay, played them. And if I you, didn't think they were good. If you played against them to that game, you okay, you, you wouldn't think they're good, but their offense is like hard to guard. Hold up. I'm going to drink some water. And their defense was actually good. Like the midgets had clamps. You just hear me drink my chug jug. All right. Anyways, okay. Let's. So, you want to get into I, one of the uh, conversations that we wanted to say, or have you? Not no, I'm talking? still talking about my COVID stuff. This is like right, a big right. deal. This is gonna be like something I'm gonna mention like 20 years from now. Think about that. Like I got COVID during the COVID 19 pandemic. Dude, all of us are gonna get COVID. Uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen, but it kind of sucks that it's now. Now that we're going to league play, so I'm gonna lose yeah. out in two most two like two important weeks of basketball, except obviously like yeah, and. That's why I went through that thing in the group chat because, like, that's, like, some serious thing that I'm considering. Like, because, uh, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen from here. Honestly. Hey, you're still going like, to get... But, hey, still I don't know get, about how no, minutes. I know what you're sense in your head. Like, just because you're going to miss a week of basketball or, like, even two weeks of basketball, like, it's not a reason to quit. But it's, like, when I come back, Will I be ready again? And it's like, oh, good I lord, say, David. Do I want it, but like, do I? Do I? I like, do I? That's like okay, the same thing. I don't, I don't, no, no. Okay, I just want to say, say right now. I just want to say, I feel like this experience is common with like anybody that plays our school's basketball. No, it's it's not. Yes, it is. It, it's happened to me more than anyone else. That's one thing. But okay, but um, I mean. So everybody this last week, goes though, through everybody goes through a period where they don't want to play basketball anymore. Okay, I, I I've gone through so many, but um, so this last week, and, and I want to clarify that it's also that I can play basketball. It's these other things holding me back, and it, it's like I I don't like feel like David right now. Like, I, I was trying to fix up my mental, and I was about there, and this happened. Like, I, I was happy yesterday. I was pretty happy yesterday. But I want to talk about my last week. I did nothing. I went to the gym. I don't know how I got COVID. I was wearing a mask everywhere, completely to the gym while I worked out and everything. I was talking to people. There's only two possibilities. I got COVID. He got his negative test. He got COVID. He got his negative test. So now, I oh, sorry. I did not get his test back. So it's either... Some random person I encountered maybe no, on the street okay, or something. Okay, well, he could test positive in the next, like, four days or something. I and saw him t two, three days ago. Okay, he can test positive in the next three days. Okay. I saw no family during Christmas or New Year's. I didn't go out anywhere. I, that video, that's, like, for real. Like, I sent you that. Yeah, that I know. Short, I know. I spent New Year's alone. So, I have no idea how me, out of all people, gets it. I understand that it's Omicron and it's going everywhere and everybody's getting it. But it, come on, it's David. I shouldn't be getting it. And I have a LeBron game six uh, immune system. I just want to mention that. So I fight off every disease uh, because. Well, Omicron is like kind of mild. So you're not, you're nothing special. No, nope, it's LeBron game six immune system. This is like LeBron against the Raptors. I'm sweeping Omicron right now. Um, dude, I just want to see rocks and like bugs on the ground. What say? This is just like the cherry on top for like Lavid. Like literally everything has just been like not good, <laughs> not good. And then it just like gets topped off with this. Like this, in my opinion, is just like one week of bad, but it just like tops everything else off. Huh? I thought like a week ago, I hit about bottom. Like I was like. Okay, so it went bad, 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 worse, worse, worse. Mm -hmm. I hit somewhere. I was like, okay, I finally hit somewhere. 
I, I don't think there's anything conceivable else that could hit me because I'm not, I, I, I didn't have COVID in mind because I was like, okay, I'm staying home. I'm not going to get COVID. So I had nothing else in my mind that I thought could happen. Right now, by the way, I'm still going to be working out and stuff, playing basketball alone. Obviously, I'm not going to be with other people. Uh, I'm still going to be in shape and stuff, but like it really sucks. I'm going to be actually be in this room for a while. I'm going to be doing online classes. I'm not going to see all y'all when you come back from break. Um, and this really just sucks my health and safety protocols. Yep. Anything else to add? No, it's just tough. Okay. I wrote you some notes the other day. Yeah. So can... Travis Scott. Dude, Travis I Scott, don't even know what that means. What, what is Travis Scott Dior? I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, he had a Dior collaboration to cancel it. Essentially like Travis Scott. I thought it was just interesting. You know, he had the Air Max Ones coming out and then they didn't get GR because, uh -huh. not GR, they didn't get like a uh, mass release because of the Travis Scott concert. Uh, I just thought it was interesting how Travis Scott's getting canceled right now, sort of. Because I, I feel like when you talk to individuals, not too many people actually care about the concert or not care about the concert, but they don't care or put the blame on Travis Scott completely. Like, yeah. I feel like if Travis Scott if those Air Max Ones released, they would easily still sell out. Yeah. That, I just want to ask you, what's your opinion on the Travis Scott concert? Uh, I think it's like, it's 100% the organizer's fault. But it's also like, yeah, I agree with that. When, from his perspective, he saw the, the uh, medics coming in and pick up the body and then started the music while they were still moving out. So I saw that video. That was he's crazy. still <laughs> He's still at fault. Like, I feel like 20% on Travis Scott. But, okay, I saw this interesting on Twitter. It was, like, how businesses kind of – I feel like this was, like – it was an L take, but it was interesting. It's, like, how businesses kind of get alleviated of blame and that it went all to Travis Scott, but the actual venue felt, like, really nothing. But anyways, uh, I thought it was just interesting that – I think we're all conscious that a Travis Scott collaboration, anything, would get completely sold out. But these businesses are still canceling their um, his products because it's not like he's like the baby or something where like if you cancel his product, it's also like it's only the baby. Like Travis Scott, he can release anything and everyone will buy it. So I thought that was especially interesting by Nike because I don't want to be like that. But Nike, they're not a very ethical brand. But yeah, they well, okay, put they only for public image before. It. They said they delayed the release of it. Did they actually cancel it? I think they're going to cancel it. I doubt they're going to like release it sometime Okay, in the but then that's, if, that's like a, a precedent that they're not going to do any more collaborations with them. Yeah. And that's just not, but that's not going to happen. Now, but you know for a fact that's not going to happen. I think it will. No. If I were Travis Scott as an individual, I'd take the Kanye route right now, where you just create your own brand. And Kanye always like talks about like, other artists like sucking up to rich white people and getting dropped when something bad happens so like that's a good example Tr travis scott he was kind of like in the mercy of nike i don't want to sound like a kanye suck off but it's kind of true that travis scott is below nike and because he had something that was canceled his products can't sell anymore whereas kanye has control of everything he does because he owns his businesses he bought out his masters he owns everything yeah but, um, you know, I never, like, fully liked all of Travis Scott's collabs and that, uh, or I didn't even like Travis Scott's music all that much, but his, his shoes and stuff like that, I only really like the fours. You didn't like the, uh, ones? I didn't like the ones. I'd rather have a pair of mocha ones. I thought it was really corny how you split the solution and everyone goes crazy. Uh, really dumb I, they're definitely not worth two thousand dollars but one thing you know i don't like wands in general because yeah they're so overhyped and stuff yeah the ones and dunk markets i used to love dunks and you know i used to wear dunks because i was a skater but the the ones and dunks markets are just you to me right now i really yeah. don't like them yeah they haven't come out with like a really cool colorway like dunks what I liked out of Dunks was they had so much creativity and that, like, De La Souls, 
those are my favorite pair of dunks because they're just crazy i would never wear them but they they're like a artistic piece for me because these dunks are just a plain canvas but now we just see college colors basic x colors you know just like the plain I black i still and white think ones. they look good though like i don't think that i think they look good too yeah but it, it's just i don't like them as because to me it's just like it's more than just how they look if you're spending like 400 dollars on a shoe it should be more than how it looks to me okay but you just you went on a whole uh a rant to me when i was like I don't like wearing my ones anymore because they're kind of corny because like all like the people that don't care about yeah. shoes or them, you're like, that's such a ones wear mentality. Like you shouldn't care about what other people think. Like it shouldn't be about yeah. that. You like the way he was negative as well. So I have no idea how I got it. Maybe it's a false positive. No, I don't think it is because I'm actually like kind of sick. Maybe the testing place got it confused with the cold dude the testing place was saved i saw them test my stuff yeah maybe they uh maybe the testing device got it confused with the cold okay next topic all right you saw i keep on switching topics i mean i don't know if there's anything else to talk about by the way um i love the new yeezy stuff man i just love the direction that yeezy's going in I want some wave runners. Such a Kanye me. I like wave runners a lot. Kanye, I I tell you, I not wave runners. Sorry, foam runners. (laughs) The ones with the holes and stuff. I was gonna say wave runners. Wave runners aren't new though. I am a Kanye meat rider, and that's his, bro. Kanye sophomore year, he for real, like he he reinvigorated my fire. For real, that's like some. I know that sounds like some white boy shit. Did he like, save your oh life? I kind of saved you. Yeah, kind of. I will. Oh, I owe a lot to Kanye. I owe a lot more. I owe more to Kanye now to like, I don't know, any other artist, any other person that I haven't met. That's interesting. That's man. like, yeah, like that's some real shit. I owe more to Kanye than I've. That I would say any other person who has <laughs> All right. I don't think I'll I have do that. you and Huh? You don't have what? Uh, a like person that I don't know that actually means something to me. Mm. Paul George. He plays basketball, bro. Okay, that is true. Oh, where are you getting tested, by the way? Uh, tomorrow before we uh, I know. bleep that out, we're playing a bad yeah, team. Yeah, we'll but I, dude, I just hate how the world is. I know it's selfish, but the world's going on without me, and that's why I said that for the most part. It's not like <sighs> I actually. Ble- I yeah, I see that. Yeah, because you know I'm a competitive person, and then like the world's. By the way, you you read my tragedy of D rant. I wrote like a lot. I don't even remember what I wrote, to be honest with you. Uh, you wrote here. I could give like a recap if I just like read the first sentence of everything. <laughs> right on. Um, Are you still here? You wrote about your childhood. Uh, how you met D and M. Uh, that was a while ago. Chapter three yeah, is yeah. where I like, started. Right, we will, we'll start with chapter. I just want to talk about. I was just like so bored. I've been so bored through this break because none of y'all are here. Uh, you're talking about like your confusion in life, kind of. I don't know. Nothing ever makes sense for me. Again, this is another thing that doesn't make sense. But yeah. Uh, what basketball meant to you? Uh, how you yeah, might I not be about... ready for it to end. I talked about considering it and also obviously there's a lot of breakthrough cases yeah but you know how you know how the we need some crazy book day on this uh, take a real one sorry oh my god walk 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 ah! so he could see that it. okay um what do you think rude one's just doing nothing no you think he still hears us by stroking himself <laughs> 
Uh, that's going to be the next conversation. But, dude, I'm kind of scared that everything's going to close down again. And I guess, uh, like... No, no, no. Okay, listen, 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 listen. It's not... Because Omicron is not very dangerous. I don't think people are going to take it as seriously as they did the first, uh, like, first dominant variant. Yeah. Or Delta. Yeah. Delta the, was mid, bro. Delta, <laughs> Delta is washed. Delta was mid. Delta got washed. It, that brings back next NBA. Um, if you want to talk about that, NBA health and safety protocols kind of going crazy. My fantasy team's kind of getting rolled. But, Dude, um, it, it's like the same with anything. Like the right path just doesn't get supported because of money. And like Adam Silver, he's like so – he picks and chooses sometimes. You think they should cancel for a little bit or no? Yeah, they should. Because literally every team has like at least like five people out. Yeah, and viewership is like terrible. Because nobody, nobody wants to watch anybody from the G League. And Adam Silver doesn't make sense. Like, with the Black Lives Matter stuff, they definitely lost out on money because of all that. And then... Did they? Yeah, 100%. For what? I think for they would pe- lose for... money if they didn't make a stance. No, they definitely... No. No, 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 no. no. How much of the NBA audience do you think stops? But, and at least from the public that I have been around, everybody supported it. I mean, no, I can't say everyone supported it, but the people that supported it before continue to watch or support Ma- okay, it. Okay, maybe that. maybe TikTok blows things out of proportion uh, in terms of, like, what's shown to me, but a lot of people said they, like, stopped watching basketball because of politics, whatever that is. Except for the Magic games? Because of... Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac. <laughs> God. I actually think Jonathan Isaac's really good at basketball. That's a real player right there. Well, yeah, he's always hurt. <laughs> yeah, he is. But he's like, he's really good at basketball. He, he was, was. He's yeah, been on my fantasy. He had a lot of potential, but I don't think he's ever going to be like good anymore. That could be true. Mo Bamba's kind of crazy also. Yeah. But I've liked seeing like, new players in the game at least for a little bit like i feel like i feel happy that they're gonna get their shots but at the same time the nba is obviously not gonna go into a bubble because you have it yeah yeah no yeah no, i do but... think you gotta think adam silver is a businessman even with the black lives matter he had to take a stance one side or the other and choosing yeah. black lives matter stance that's fair, would that's make fair. obviously money and in this same situation if this were maybe two years ago he would have to put in the bubble to make that stance. But if they put it in the bubble, you realize that would be a lot more money. And it's not like he's losing the, the – he's not losing that much financial credibility by keeping it outside of the bubble. I'm silver. Like, I've always realized – or I shouldn't say I've always realized because that's not – I'm not going to act like I'm, like, some woke person. It's just that he's a businessman. And you got to take everything he says and does in a business mindset. Mm-hmm. So that's how I've always taken everything. So. But also, it's kind of like you said, like people were getting chance. I'm, I'm going back on, I'm completely ignoring what you just said. But like yeah. the people that are getting their chances are not really Dave getting Hunt a chance. Sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. He, he's not very, he's not very good. And it's, and it's tough to watch, but no, no. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Like the people that are getting chances aren't really getting chances. They're going to get their 10 days. And then whoever their roster spot was filling for, they're not going to beat them out for a roster spot. They're going to get sent back down to the G League or, like, whatever league they came from. I got that. But at the same time, it's like, one thing, you know, a 10-day contract, that's $150,000, which is more than a lot of D League contracts. G League, excuse me. So that's a lot of money by itself. I mean, but, but okay, but you're talking about, like, in terms of like opportunity that they get, no, no team is watching yeah, an NBA player perform Stanley well. Johnson. I just want to say Stanley Johnson. He's okay, really maybe, good. but they're still playing against G League competition. Like, no team is going to be sold off of those ten days. That's true. Uh, so I, I want to watch the Christmas game though, and I do like Stanley Johnson. Yeah, I want to say the Clippers really beat the Nets. <laughs> that is insane. Without Kevin Durant. Wait, no, it didn't no? They had KD. They, they had James Harden. Harden had a triple double. He did thirty four point triple double. Okay, we're talking about the same game. The game right after Christmas. Yesterday. 
Oh, I, I was thinking the game right after Christmas, where he's just Harden. I don't yeah. watch it. So. Okay, how long have we been recording again? Damn, it's like thirty minutes. Uh okay. Resolutions. Yeah, we, let's talk about our resolutions. You you can um, go first. I just said I'm not gonna watch the devil's work, and <laughs> that's about it. That's it. That's really it. I, no, the thing goals. is, like, I don't have. Think about it. What do you think I should make a resolution for? I'll take your ideas, man. By the way, with COVID, I just want to say I've been watching Carl Anthony Towns live streams. He said he lost twenty pounds from this Omicron on. So I'm about to come back at six pack. It's not how it works. Uh, I don't really have any resolution. I didn't think about anything. 